everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and joining me tonight in tonight's video. I am a mess, but it is my birthday night, so I'm just, you know, don't care. And I am not going to reveal my age because, yeah, we're, we're just not going to go there. Anyway, so um, I thought, let me go ahead and film a quick video because we're going away this weekend to Dan's parents' house. And I got a couple of Bath and Body Works orders and um, also at the end of this video, in case you want to click out, I will also share some little treat myself birthday gifts that I decided to gift myself that arrived for my birthday of all days. So that was nice that they actually came on my birthday and I had some more gifts to open. So yeah, let's get started. But I was so surprised, as you can tell by the thumbnail, that I see this beat up Bath and Body Works box on my doorstep and I'm like, okay, what is this? Uh, it's pretty, you know, crushed looking for one of my most recent orders to show up like this. So whatever, I'll open it. And lo and behold, it is my missing SAS order from the end of June that I had thought was lost and never going to be found. It was coming through Nugistics and I cannot say enough bad things about them. But Bath and Body Works had already refunded me because the items were no longer in stock. And then here it is showing up a month later. So part of me is also wondering if that other package that got lost by Nugistics, if that is eventually going to show up. So that was super exciting to get these items that I really figured I didn't need after I came to terms that this was just lost and never going to arrive. So I was like, oh, yeah, I really don't need them. So I guess it's fine. But it's still exciting now that they're here. And I had another order that arrived. And like I said, then I will show you some little birthday gifts I decided to give myself. So let's start with the SAS items. Um, I ordered this set of the like bake shop soaps. I think they were on sale at the time for like maybe $15 or something like that. And I already have these, but I was like, well, if it's so cheap um, and I love these scents that I'll just go ahead and get the set and get back up. So this is strawberry pound cake. Coconut cream pie is like eh. champagne toast, pink petal tea cake, and lavender marshmallow. And I just think the packaging is so cute with the different colored liquids. So I was super happy that arrived and um, none of them seem to leak. They're all like not sticky. So that's really good. There was one candle in there and I was so like disappointed that I was not going to have a backup or like a third or fourth of it. <laughs> so it was there and Surprisingly, it was not shattered or broken, and it is the Sweet Mint Julep, and I just love anything mint scented, so I was, and then it sold out, so I was so happy to get this. This wasn't 75% off. I think it was like, I don't know, just when it was like $11.95 or something like that, $10.95, one of those. I got a five-pack of Island Margarita pocket bags. These were like super cheap. And then the body care that I got, I decided to get a backup of strawberry soda, shower gel. I got this for Dan, figured why not get him something too. Atlantic body wash and shower gel. A backup of candied violet sorbet shower gel. And since uh, I had everything else from the tie-dye collection, I decided to get the Endless Weekend, which I have not tried yet in shower gel or the fine fragrance mist, so I got both of those. And then all of these were 75% off anyway. A backup of the Cherry Limeade Fine Fragrance Mist and a backup of the Mango Mai Tai Fine Fragrance Mist. So all in all, I think everything was like about $50, $60 for all of this. So yeah, like I said, Bath & Body Works refunded me and now I have all these freebies, so yay. Um, and then I got an order from one of my most recent uh, hauls from online and I had placed an order for these renew and refresh wallflower set. Um, I managed to get some tester single wicks in of this during like winter SAS and I just thought they like smelled so good and clean. It's fresh air jasmine hint of mint and uh, yeah so I was like why don't they have a three wick in this and then I realized oh they're actually just the wallflowers and at least I got the test candles so I've got the wallflowers now. And then I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. It's not really that cute in person. I just kind of jumped on it thinking it would sell out really fast. Um, like all the Halloween items online. And now in person I'm like, yeah, probably return it. It's the soap, soap holder here. I mean, it's just like so neon green and then all this glitter. And I don't know. It's just kind of not as cute 
as I expected in person. A lot of people were saying how uh, cheap looking it is and looks like, you know, the child painted it and everything. But so, yeah, I don't know. I think it was, what is it? $18.95. So probably not worth it. So I'll probably return it. I don't know. We'll see. And then I bought or used points for a bunch of single wicks. So I noticed, I guess a lot of people also had this issue where I had called them. This was like before the whole, you know, reward system was being revamped and worked on and updated and all that crazy business for a week or so. And I had called them and said, hey, I have, you know, some in-store purchases that I would like to add to my rewards account. Can you please add these points there? I'm like, oh, sure, sure, sure. Finally. Um, and it was only like maybe two rewards tops I would have had added. And then I check and they maxed out my number of rewards for the year. There is a cap on the number of rewards that you can get for the year. I think it's something like maybe like 50 rewards. I don't even know. But they maxed them out. So I had like 38 rewards now on my account to use up. And I'm not complaining. I mean, they're free rewards. Eventually, I would have probably gotten there um, within the year anyway. But the fact that they added them all into my account. So now they expire like in October. So now I have to like use them up by October and otherwise you lose them. So I just decided, okay, so I'll just keep using them. And like every time I order, cause you can only use eight at, at a time. So yeah, anyway, so I have like 30 left <laughs> to use by October, which shouldn't be that difficult, but I decided to get a bunch of single wicks. So I did pick up the pumpkin pecan waffles in the single wick and I plan on getting it in the three wick, I think, but I figured let's try it in the single wick for free. It smells so good on cold. It's like so sweet and brown sugary and caramelly. And it's just like, yeah, just like the body care actually. Um, and I think a lot of these are actual doubles because I was like, okay, they're free. Might as well back, back them up. So I got another single wick of the wild or honey wildflower because it's an online exclusive. And I just love that jar packaging and decided to back up the Halloween single wicks as well. Pumpkin carving, Wicked Apple, Hello Gorgeous in the Pumpkin Spice Latte because it's just so good. And I really, I wasn't going to buy the three wick because it's just like the core uh, white barn packaging, but it smells so good. And it's like a nice fall orange, so I'm probably going to get that at the next candle sale in the three wick and the vampire blood in the single wick, double of that. And last is ghoul friend in the single wick. So yeah, I decided to use the rewards for some backups of the singles because the packaging is just too cute. And that was it for Bath and Body Works. So let me share a couple of like random purchases I made celebrate my birthday let's say so let's start with the candles and then we have some makeup so yeah i actually have makeup even though i'm not wearing any um i found this at marshall's it's apple honey butter by dw home and it's the two wick and i love the red wax and the frosted red glass and i was like trying to give myself a break from the dw home candles and not go weekly to check out my marshall's but now that fall scents are coming out and I just love fall scents. I'm like, no, you can't stop now. You got to keep going. And then I did get another one. I already have one of these, but the salted caramel truffle. And this just smells so good. Just that chocolate coffee note, like it's just so good. And then I'm so excited to find this one, chocolate pumpkin spice. Yum. And this is the big tubic. And it's really not spicy. It's just chocolatey. That's what I get. And I love chocolate notes. So, And then I, I haven't tried this brand before, but I just could not say no. Village Candle in pumpkin bread. Oh my gosh. And like these Yankee Candle jars. Um, limited edition. And they had like a bunch of pumpkin scents. Um, like cinnamon pumpkin. Pumpkin butter pumpkin, apple, I don't know, just a bunch. But this one, I just was like, no, I have to try pumpkin bread. It does, it smells just like pumpkin bread, like spot on. 
and they had like three of them and I was like okay Lizzie you never tried this brand you do not need all three just st start with one I went back and they were all gone all the pumpkin breads were gone all the other pumpkin ones were still there but the pumpkin breads gone I went to another Marshall's that's a town away they still had some so I got another one I don't know why I didn't get them all like I said but I was like, okay, you only need two. You didn't even burn the other one yet. So, so two pumpkin breads. And if you guys have tried Village Candle, let me know. Are they good? Because the smell on cold smells really good. So, do they have scent notes? No, they don't. Of course not. But yeah, so those are the candles I picked up. And then some makeup. Oh my gosh. So, I've been trying not to buy so much makeup lately because, like I said, my obsession with candles and Bath and Body Works has, like, eaten up my entire spending budget. No time for makeup. And I haven't been wearing any, so what's the point? But Dior coming out with this fall collection. I don't know what it's called. Flight, plates of Fancy or some, some crap. Um, yeah. I saw that it was available online so yeah I just had to do it and which one is this birds of a feather that's is that what it's just called I don't know look at that gorgeous blush I don't know if you can really see the intricate feather details on that blush it's a very coral bright shade um I actually placed two orders because this was in the second order. The first order, I had placed some stuff, and then I forgot that they had nail polish, so I'm like, okay, I have to place another order because I really want those shades. And so I was like, well, to reach a certain limit so I could get the freebie, free deluxe sampled perfume, I need to add something else, so I'll just get the second blush, blush shade. So I got that one. Yes, it is the Birds of a Feather collection, and that is the shade Coral Flight. And then this was the original. Um, they have two eyeshadow palettes from the collection and I had to get this one because it's greens and I am obsessed with green shadows and look at those beautiful jewel tones shimmery shades I do not plan to use it I know I'm crazy uh, they are strictly for my untouchables and collection and I'm trying really hard not to do that anymore but with some pieces I just can't help myself and just had to have them so I can admire them and I would just kick, kick myself if I didn't get them and so this was the original blush shade I got in the first order nude glow because I just thought this one was more muted more everyday it's just a nice on online it looks very nude but in person it is a pretty like pink nude and this wasn't part of the collection but I decided I've been eyeing this and I decided okay just pick it up now it is the forever luminizer in 01 nude glow and it's just this fun patent leather or whatever quilted cushion packaging and the beautiful highlighter in nude glow there was like six shades and I want them all, but no, I don't need them all. I only want this one, and that one I will use. It's not like an untouchable. And then, like I said, I needed the nail polishes from the collection, so I placed that second order. And there's three shades, but I only got two of them. And I really do like their polish. It does last a while without chipping too quickly. And it's this beautiful holographic shade, Early Bird. Where it doesn't like gold and silver and pink. It's just gorgeous and then the second shade I just knew I had to have called Nightbird and it's this iridescent green teal crank chrome kind of shade so beautiful so yeah I got those and then like I said you did get free gifts with um, the Dior site and it shipped really fast it shipped like two days or something um, and so it's you got this free gift you are backstage and it has like a little deluxe size mascara or no, Lash Primer and the Dior Addict Lip Luminizer, which is a really good lip luminizer in this really nice deluxe size sample. And like I said, uh, you got these nice perfume deluxe sizes, and these are like 
the more expensive perfumes from from their line. It's uh, these pretty good deluxe sizes. Wood Isfahan, Is Isfahan, Isfahan. I don't know if that was the one that just automatically, or one that you could choose. And then this one was also being offered vanilla diorama. I think this is a new scent, so they're advertising this. And let's smell this one. Mmm. It does smell vanilla y, but not like overly sweet. Just very like grown up lemon. So that's a nice one. I actually might keep that. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to share that. Thank you guys so much for watching my hauls and my videos. And I just really appreciate you. And thank you. And I hope to just enjoy myself this weekend. Like I said, we're going to Dan's parents' house. I'm going to check out huge mall there in Natick. Go to the Bath and Body Works, of course. They actually have the buy online pickup in store. Um, finally at that location. So I'm going to place an order so I can cash in rewards and not have to wait for them to ship. So I could just go to the store the next day and pick them all up. So that's super exciting. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they will have some Halloween stuff that I cannot find. I don't know. I really doubt it, but keep hoping. I did get a coupon in the mail. I don't want to use it just yet because I think there's a candle sale coming next weekend. So um, we'll see. It just all depends if they have the Halloween goodies. But thank you guys and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.